I looked and saw that the glory of the Lord filled the temple of the Lord, and I fell to the ground with my face in the dust. And the Lord said to me, Son of dust, notice carefully, use your eyes and ears. Listen to all I tell you about the laws and rules of the temple of the Lord. Look carefully who may be admitted to the temple and who is to be excluded to you. And say to these rebels, Yahavah says, O Israel, you have sinned greatly by letting the uncircumcised depart into my sanctuary. You have not kept the laws I gave you concerning these holy things. For you have hired foreigners to take charge of my sanctuary and my holy tree. The Lord God says, No foreigner of all the many among you shall enter my sanctuary if he has not been circumcised and does not love the Lord. Dust thou art, dust thou shalt return. Son of man. Before we proceed further, as canon of this church and as the protector of our deaconess, I must act to prevent further desecration of church vessels, sacraments, sacramentals, and property, and to prevent further desecration of deaconess and by the touch of the unclean. Every time you pass by suffering, you're leaving him hanging. You're leaving him there. Every time you turn the other way or you follow an order that you know is wrong, or you do something wrong for a paycheck, you're the ones that are leaving him here. And I say it's time for an end to that. I'm sorry to have to do this, but I'm going to have to ask you to step down. You've followed a bad order. I'm going to have to ask you to turn your gun and your badge over. In Rhode Island, what Pilate was told to write here, and yes, there's an explanation, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. You are attempting to enforce a law that is rejected by a solid majority of United States citizens in a state where the deaconess has medical permission, religious right that does not come from a court, does not come from a police officer, or a park service agent at the very birthplace of religious freedom, and I expect you to relieve yourself of duty as the German officers should have prior to being told that at Nuremberg. When we come back on our cross, there will be cannabis. The reason that Congress has not followed the clear wish of the United <coughs> States public about legal cannabis is pressure from pharmaceutical industries. And people are dying because not one law officer will step up and say, wait a second, that's a bad order. Is that doing anybody any good? Let them go home to their babies and their women and their husbands and their sons. Let them out. 
There's no reason to keep people in prison behind bars and cages. The American public wants our sacrament legal for recreational purposes with a solid majority. And more enforcement is put upon those who use it with biblical authenticity here at the site of the birthplace of religious freedom than on those who would use it for recreation. Sir, you are following a bad order and you will turn in your gun and badge to your superior officer. You are following a bad order. Just following orders, they said at Nuremberg. We will not be molested in church service, nor will we leave. We will wait until the unclean have left the temple parlor. And we will wait, and we will wait. Not one police officer would step up and do the right thing and stop this attack upon our sacrament, which heals cancer, MS, intractable, lethal childhood epilepsy. Personal responsibility is supposed to do. If you fall with that order, you are not indemnified by the fact that somebody else gave you that order, and you know it, you are going to answer to God for every action you do, whether you feel you're indemnified by the or not. Thanks for coming, man. Did you really? Take it easy, thank you. It's it's starting to rain a little bit. It's gonna come down hard. It's gonna come down to buckets. Let's see. 